So last week, I took out a small loan to buy the latest phone model. I had to have it. Just as I'm walking out of the store, I see a Forbes list millionaire talking on a model released 5 years ago. And that's when it hit me. Rich people don't buy what poor people want. And it's not just phones. Clothes and shoes Superstars look like real stars in their stunning designer outfits. Poor-minded people want the same, and they'll save a few paychecks or go into debt to get the celebrity look. Truly successful people focus not on price or brands, but comfort. Simple t-shirts and jeans, that's all. They're successful and confident. They don't need to prove that through their outfits. High-ticket property Penthouses, mansions, luxury villas – so many people are ready to take out a loan and pay for it for the rest of their life if it means they can own some elaborate property. Not for the rich, they'd rather buy a nice enough place where the price is right. Or they get an old fixer-upper and invest money to bring it back to life. Gadgets Have you ever upgraded to the latest model even when your older phone was working just fine? We all do it. Some of us even take out loans or sell something to come up with the cash for a brand new super cool gadget. Why? Just to seem richer and trendier? Yet many wealthy and successful people stick with regular phones for several years and feel great while doing it. Loans Now, since we're on the subject, this is a repeating thing when it comes to rich versus poor. Rich people avoid debt, whether it's loans, credit cards, any kind of borrowed money for instant gratification. Poor people get into debt to pay off old loans, and it's just an endless cycle. All for the sake of having things they can't afford but want to look like they can. Just doesn't make sense. Food Put two dishes on the table. One belongs to a rich person, the other someone who's low income. One plate is covered with steamed veggies, grains, maybe some boiled chicken. Overall, doesn't that look appetizing? The other, mmm, a big juicy hamburger, greasy french fries slathered in salt, mouth-watering. Guess whose plate is whose? The modest-looking meal is common for the rich. They'd rather it be bland, yet healthy and cost-effective, than delicious but bad for your gullet and your wallet. Because that makes sense. The image. You earn your first million, and then comes that irresistible urge to spend it on a flashy car, designer suit, and dinners in the most expensive restaurants. Yet even some billionaires drive an old but reliable car, use public transport, and dress like the average Joe or Jane. Such people don't need to prove anything to others. They get pleasure and confidence from what they do, and this earns them respect not the sparkly material stuff. Get-rich-quick schemes I'm not just talking about investing in some shady pyramid thing. It could also be seeing and paying a fortune teller or psychic, spending money on bets and lottery tickets, anything that promises instant riches and success. What's the wealthy way to predict some events? Collect all the information and analyze it. Then make an educated bet. It often works in their favor. Get rich trainings. Do you think many rich people made it big because they went to some trainings with five easy step to riches for the low price of $79.99 per sesh? And how many of those attendees didn't become rich? A successful person spends time and energy on their job, works really hard, but does it in a smart way. Because overworking yourself to the bone also isn't the way to go either. You gotta be efficient. Anyway, these how-to-become-rich-and-successful courses only really help their creators get rich. Okay, that's what the rich don't spend their resources on. So what do they do with their time and money? Well, for starters, there's self-development. Not to be confused with those get-rich trainings. Yes, a wealthy person will never regret spending money on expensive courses to master some new profession or further develop an existing skill. They might also pay for fitness club memberships. This is an investment of money in oneself, and it'll pay off in any case. Either this knowledge will help you earn more money or improve your physical and mental health. Charity Rich people give millions to different charitable foundations. Plenty of them start their own. And before you say, well, duh, they have the extra cash to do that. 
Remember that donations aren't just financial. You can also give your time by volunteering at local charities. Why? Because doing good for others makes you feel good. It can keep negative feelings away and keep you on top of your game. Just try it, you'll see. Technological development Some very rich people feel that technological progress on Earth is completely dependent on them. With this huge feeling of responsibility, they invest lots of money, energy, and time in the development of modern technology. Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs… Not sure where we'd be today if not for people like them. Perhaps a little behind. Emotional wealth Material wealth will fade over time, but emotions remain in your memory forever. That's why rich people travel so much. And I'm not talking about these Instagram-worthy beach trips staying in 5-star hotels. No, many rich travelers try to immerse themselves in the local culture. That can often mean cozy bed and breakfast and small family-owned restaurants for a modest price. Business You know all those stories about people suddenly coming upon riches and blowing it all within a few months? This happens because they don't follow the main rule for capital expansion. Any money should work for you. If it's hidden under your mattress or being wasted on flashy phones, clothes, and what have you, then it's not working for you. What's much better is making your money grow on its own. Savings accounts, smart investments, your own startups. As long as you've done all the necessary calculations and research, this untouched money will only make you richer. Doing versus dreaming Many people dream of money, visualize it, draw pictures of the luxurious life in their heads. Unfortunately, that's exactly where that dream stays, in their head. The right way is not to strive to be rich, but to become a person who's worth a lot of money. Wealth is gained by very disciplined, stubborn people who are ready to work for their goals. It can be opening your own restaurant, making that movie you've wanted to realize for years, designing a new airplane model that'll revolutionize the industry, whatever's captured your heart. While these people are out there making that goal happen, money is attracted to them automatically. And people who only think about money can spend their whole lives sitting on the couch and waiting for a miracle. Dedication It seems like rich people's lives are so easy and fun. Just work toward your goals and live modestly. But that's far from the truth. Every minute is important in their schedule. Meetings, conferences, paperwork, the gym, family time, flights, more meetings, reading… And then you've got your basic physical needs of eating and sleeping somewhere in there. Not every person can handle the pace and all that responsibility. What's the point of being rich if you don't even have time to spend your money? Think about it. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.